Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I decided to bring a video which was heavily requested by all of you which is basically talking about how to create protected routes using React Router DOM in a React application. So a lot of people kind of requested this because apparently there isn't a lot of resources on this online. So I thought it would be a great idea to make a video about it. And also you guys have been like supporting me a lot. So I just thought it would be awesome to help you guys with this. And before we got into the video, if you guys could leave a like, I would really appreciate it because it would help the channel grow and uh, it would just be like, it would, it would just be awesome. So yeah, let's get started into the video. So what is a protected route? Basically, imagine you have an application right here and usually when you log into application, the home page is just this URL right here, right? But imagine you want to, for example, check your profile. So you say profile slash profile and you go to a page. Well, you only want to be able to see your profile information if you're logged in, right? And if you're authenticated, most importantly. So basically, we're going to be teaching you guys how to create this distinction between someone who is authenticated and can access a route and someone who isn't authenticated and cannot access a route. For example, if you haven't logged in and you try to reach the profile page, it will redirect you to the normal, like the, the home page, right? So that's the basic idea. So how do we do this? Well, I set up a simple application here. You can see the only things we have is just the app.js, the app.css, uh, this stuff that already comes with react and we also have a pages folder which we're going to be inserting all the different pages we want in this case since it's just i'm showing you guys an example i'm just going to create one page which will be the kind of like the page we want to uh, restrict people from and then you can see as well i kind of like already set up a bit but this is just all standard i just imported use state because i know i'm going to use a state variable. I also imported all the stuff from React Router DOM. So I already installed React Router DOM. You can see I have router, I have link, I have route, and I have switch, which are basically the, the main ones when you're creating an application, right? So what do we need to do? Well, you can see I already created a router uh, component down here, and here we can put all of our different routes, right? So for example, we might want to route for uh, with a path to the home page, right? So I'm going to just pass the slash here and that will be the home page. So let me do it like this. And actually I don't want to create a different component for this. I'll just do it like this. I'll open and close and I'll write the component for the route inside of here. So what do we want to have for the home page? Well, let's have a button for now, which we can log in and a button for the logout, right? Logout. For now, let's just have this too. Also, since we're making this our home page, let's make it exact because we're already rendering the component inside of here and we just want this, compo this component to be rendered whenever we are in this path. So now we have a login button and a, log and a logout button over here and we should be starting to work with our protected route, correct? So basically you can see this is a normal route, but how do we actually have, for example, something that it's called like protected route and, and only people who are assigned can enter there. Well, it's a bit different because there isn't as full support from React Router DOM to do this. Uh, like I'm not aware of any like any support in the API. The only thing like the way we do this is basically by creating the component ourselves. So what do I mean by that? Well, we're going to come here and create a component uh, called protected route, for example, in a different file. And we're going to use that to be able to um, authenticate, like check to see if the user is authenticated. And we're going to check to see if the user has logged in or not in the component itself. So let's create the component. Well, I'm going to come here to my folder and I'm, you, you can see the, the pages here. We might want to create the, comp the, the route we want afterwards, but for now, let's just create a file called protected routes. So this will be the component for protected routes. And inside of here is where all the magic happens. So let me first just RFC because I want to import everything. And let's also import some stuff like let's import from React Router DOM. I maybe want a route, obviously, because we're going to make it into a route. And since we want to redirect, let's use the redirect uh, component from React Router DOM because it will allow us to basically, if you're not authenticated, it will redirect you to another page, right? So let's say React router DOM. And now that we have both of them, we can work inside of it. So what will be this component? Well, it might sound a bit confusing, but I'll try to explain it to the best of my ability. 
basically we're gonna pass we're gonna, whenever we call this we got to make it into a route correct so what do I mean by that well we can come here and say that this is a route and this is literally it the whole component will just return a route but inside of this route we will need to grab information from the component from the route as a prop correct so for example we might want to know if the user is authenticated right so we can say is auth we, we might want to have a, a route called a, a prop called is auth and we're gonna just say like this so we now have access to a variable saying like basically determining if the user is authenticated or not and that's what's going to basically determine if we can access the route or not we can also have a prop which will give us the component itself because remember we want to every route we need to render a component so if we're creating a component a component for the protected routes we, we need to be able to just whenever like if we want to have five different protected routes we, we want to just be able to call the protected route component and just change the prop to whatever component we want to have right so let's create a, a variable here called component and we're gonna set it equal to for example component okay so now that you have that we at the end like basically when you finish working with both of this we also might want to grab any other props that we have so usually what we do is we just write three dots and rest so now we have we're calling all the props I'm gonna close I'm gonna close this and these are the props we might want we might want to use obviously we haven't passed those but for example is auth will be a state determining if we are authenticated or not a component will be the component we want to render so if I want to render my profile page I'll pass the profile component here if I want to render I don't know like uh, if you have a bank like website and you want to render your checking account information then it should be a protected route correct so you would pass the component for the checking account so that's the idea right and inside of here in the route first of all we need to get the rest so if there's anything else we just say rest in the beginning so after we do that we might want to start working with the render function because every route has a render correct so what will this route render well it depends first of all we need to grab the props right because when you when you use the render function you, you need props but what do I mean by it depends well it depends if you are authenticated or not so instead of this is where we put all of our logic regarding uh, if the user is authenticated or not so we can just ask if is auth so if the user is authenticated then well let's just return the component so remember that comp the component we're passing here on the props is the component we want to render so when we just say this we're basically this will be replaced by the, the component that we want to render so let's just render the component and that's fine right so if the user is not if the user is not authenticated then we want to use the redirect a uh, thing we, we imported from React Router DOM. And we basically just want to redirect it to wherever you want. So let's return this actually. And let's redirect it to, let me see, to let's say path name equal to, like, you might want to change this for your website, but if I, if I, if I, like, if I'm not authenticated, I just want to go back to the home page, right? So this is the home page, this slash right here. And also when you're working with this, you need to pass a state. So what do I mean by state? It's basically where you were before. So how do we check that? Well, it's very easy. You just open up a, the curly braces. You can say from and just pass props.location. It will basically get the location from where you called this route, which in our case will be the just the home page, right? So this is the basic idea. If we are authenticated, we want to return the component and render the component. If we aren't, we want to redirect to our home page from wherever we called this re this protected route, correct? So this is the idea of how our protected route will work. And this is basically it for the protected route. We don't need anything else, uh, I think, right? We're gonna obviously keep going and if any errors occur, I'm going to try to check to see what happens. So basically, this is the idea. Now what we wanna do is we actually wanna create our route. Because for example, if I come here and I say protected route, um, it didn't actually import it, so let's import protected route. Import protected route from dot slash protected route. You can see that our protected route file is right over here, so we can just say dot slash protected route. But I wouldn't recommend putting it over here. I would create something like components, a folder called components, or 
I don't know, a, a folder called routes. I don't know. So this is the idea, right? You can just put it whatever you want and you won't import it. So remember that in our protected route, we want to have certain variables, right? Uh, one of them is the, the, the prop asking if we are actually authenticated or not. And the other one is the component. So first of all, before we actually create the authenticated part, let's just create the component, right? So here in pages, let's say, oh, actually, it's since we haven't passed anything, it's kind of giving us errors. Let me come here. And I'm going to create a file called, um, I don't know, protected, or no, not not protected route, let's just call it. Um, mm, I don't know, I'm gonna say profile. This is just an example, right? Let's imagine we want to we have we have a component called profile. And we only want to like access the profile if we are authenticated or not. So what do we want to do with this? Well, before anything, if we want to work with react router, and this isn't directly inside the router, we want to use um, a hook in react router DOM called with router. If you guys want, I can make a, a more in depth video about um, the with router hook, but basically, it will just allow us to turn this into a component with access to the routes. So you can just say here with router, it's very simple, you just say with router and the name of the component, which is profile, right? Yeah. So what do we want to put into this this component? Well, let's just put whatever let me say here, if you entered, if you see this, it means you are authenticated. This will basically be a pro a, a component which will represent all the things you want uh, to be protected, who you like, you have to be authenticated to access this, right? Currently, if we go there, Actually, nothing will happen because we actually haven't called this. But let's try to now that we created our component, let's go to our app.js. And we can just come here and uncomment this. And first of all, we have to pass a path. Why do we have to pass a path? Well, because this is um, this is still a route, correct? When we created our protected route, this is a route. So we need to pass a path. And this is where the rest comes from. Rest will basically grab whatever other things we add to it. For example, path is something that we're adding, and we didn't define it as a prop. So when we say rest over here, here is where the path is going, right? Here's where we're defining the path. So let's say path. And which path do we want to have? Well, maybe we want just a slash profile, right? Imagine we want to go to the profile path. And what else do we have to pass? Well, we have to pass the component, remember, and what will be the component and this is where a lot of people get it wrong. A lot of people just say, uh, like this profile. And I'm gonna like, this won't work. Why? Because you're not rendering the comp like, you don't want to pass the component inside of here, you want to pass the name of the component. So what do I mean by that? Well, you just want to pass profile. And obviously, we haven't imported profile yet. So I'm going to import profile. Um, what happened? Okay, now it's fine. I'm going to import profile at the top here. So import um, profile from, I guess it's dot slash pages slash profile. Yeah. So now we are passing the component, the profile component to this protected route. And finally, we have to pass something called is off. What will be is off? Well, usually if you're working with a real application, you'll create like you'll work with either like your store local storage, either your cookies, or most importantly, like state management using the context API, or if you're using Redux, you might want to use whatever Redux uses, because I don't work with Redux. But basically, you want to pass a global variable, right? Um, a variable that will allow you to know if the user is authenticated or not. But for this simplistic reasons, we'll just like because this video isn't to do, like it has nothing to do with uh, state management, I'll just uh, create a, a, a state variable here called um, is auth. And it's going to be set is auth for the variable for the function. And then we're going to set it it's equal to a use state. And it's going to start as false, we can't be able, we, we can't access it when we start, right. So what do we pass here now we pass is auth. And you'll see that now if we go to profile, it redirects us back to whatever we are, like it redirects the home page. However, if this is true, then we can access the profile. Let's see. Yeah, it says if you see this, it means you are authenticated. But now let's finish it by basically just coming here and adding the functionality to turn to kind of like login. So it's literally as easy as saying 
unclick. Then we pass a function here, which will basically uh, set as auth. So if you want to log in, we want to make this true. And let's copy this and just change it to false if we want to log out. So set auth is equal to false. Okay. So now if we want to, oh, I forgot. We actually need, I, I don't want to keep like changing the route here. Let's actually just include a link inside of here. Um, how do I do this? I'll just come here and, and say link. Did we import link? Yeah. So link and let's just pass it to over here. We want to go to a profile. So we can say slash profile. What does a link do? Basically, it just creates a link where if you click on it, it will um, send you to the page, right? Go to profile. So now there's a link here. If I want to go to profile, I'll click here. Now it's true because we set it equal to true, but let me set it equal to false. And let's click on this. You can see never, it doesn't send us because whenever we try to go there, it redirects to the home page. But if I click on login and I click here again, you can see we can go. If I click on, I can still go because it's still like, like it's still working. But if I click on logout, now we can't go anymore, as you can see. And that's the basic idea, right? So we, we are, we're basically just created a protected route in our application. And if you want to create several, like this is basically the end, right? But if you wanted to like, create something called bank, uh, I don't know, checking account. Let's imagine you have a, um, a, a, a component called checking account. And you wanted to basically just create it, you will do the same thing as you did to profile, you would import the you the with router, you will come here to the bottom and say with router, you'll wrap this around, you'll come here, you'll say something like your credit is very bad something like that, you know, so information about, oh, I wrote checking out, I, I meant checking account, but it doesn't matter. You, you know what I mean, right? It's a, it's just a, 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 a component, right? So we can come here, and we can just import checking out, <laughs> checking out from dot slash pages slash checking out. And now you can just render another uh, protected route where you can just paste it here and just change this to checking and change this to checking out. And you can pass again the is auth. So basically, uh, let's come here, let's create another link for to go to the checking out uh, page. Let me say checking, go to checking page. So now we have two links, as you can see here, it, if we are logged in, you can see it says your credit is very bad. But if we log out, you can't this is the idea, right? You just create a single component called protected route. And you can implement how many pages in that route, like you want to be able to be secret or not uh, in your application by basically just calling the component how many times you want. So this is the idea. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment down below enter into my discord because I answer questions there as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, I, I've never mentioned this in the video before, but I have a I just created a patron because I I've been having like a lot of issues monetizing the channel because I'm still in Brazil. And for some reason, I created my account with an American cell phone, no, a Canadian uh, cell phone. And now it's like Google isn't allowing me to, to monetize my videos till like, I go back to Canada. So uh, that's that's an issue. So I created a patron if you guys like wanted to support it. There is no need to but like if you guys want to the link is in the description i would really appreciate it but yeah that's basically it and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like because i'm posting every single day subscribe if you want to see more and i see you guys next time